annelida, or otherwise known as the worms, is branching off the right branch to the left. Symmetry. The earthworm is bilaterally symmetrical, which means that it can be cut down the middle and be the same on each side. Catholization. The earthworm has a large ganglion that acts as a small brain found in the anterior portion of the body. This shows simple civilization. Sense organs. The earthworm has a mouth that they use to tunnel through the soil and test the chemicals in it to tell whether they are safe or not. They also have small bristles called cetera connected to the nerve endings in their bodies, which they use to feel their surroundings and give a sense of direction when moving. The earthworm is triboplastic and it has ceiling. The earthworm is triboplastic. This means that it contains an ectoderm, a mesoderm and an endoderm, which results in the development of an ovum and the three layers help with germ protection. The earthworm contains a cilium, which allows for formation of internal organs, a closed blood system and to transport materials around the body. Earthworms move by contracting the body muscles in the rear end of their body. Squishing them together, they then release the front end and slide forward. The styla acts as a break and slow down system for when the earthworm is moving. Reproduction Earthworms are hermaphrodites, but do need a mate as their bodies are split into male and female parts by the clitellum, where all their reproductive organs are kept so they cannot be produced with themselves. They produce egg sacs that can stay dormant for years until there's exactly the right conditions for them to hatch. Earthworms breathe through their skin. They have five hearts and they have no eyes but can still tell if it is day or night because they have light sensitive skin. Mm -hmm.